Hey folks, it's Mike. Uh, I had planned an outdoor adventure uh, video uh, for this time around, but uh, sadly uh, I committed a cardinal sin when it comes to content creation. Make sure all the batteries for all of your devices are charged. Uh, my microphone, my wireless mic that I use, I forgot to charge it. So, you know, I came up with a nice little intro in, the, in that video, and you can't hear, hear me at all. Anyway, so this time around, now that I've got the batteries charged, you know. Hi. Um, I've uh, decided I want to uh, do a video where I, you know, explain uh, my process for uh, scanning uh, film. Um, I will say that uh, this is inspired by a roll of film that uh, I uh, had developed uh, probably about sometime this, this time last year. Um, I had bought a uh, Canon T70 uh, camera, a uh, film camera from 1984. In fact, this is it right here. Um, it actually had a roll of film in it already uh, and had a few uh, photos already uh, on the roll. And uh, I figured I'd finish out the roll and see what's what and, uh, you know, see how my photos turned out. Um, so, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, go, we'll go take a look at it. The, uh, the rig that I use to uh, scan my film um, is essentially uh, my camera on a tripod pointing straight down and uh, on my desk I've got uh, a, uh, a light that uh, I'll, I put under a, a box with a hole in it essentially. Um, in fact it's kind of the one I'm using right up, up here. Um, and. Uh, you know, I'll have the uh, the light under this box, uh, and as you can see, it's got a hole in there um, to you know get the light, uh, let the light go through. Uh, and at uh, at that point, I'll just uh, stick this uh, this film strip on top of that box with the light shining up, and then with the camera facing down, uh, it takes the photos. It you know, I, uh, I can sort of show you a bit of how it, how it works in the, uh, in the final product, essentially. Um, so, yeah. Um, I, uh, I've basically uh, taken uh, a piece of cardboard, um, cut it out so that it's, uh, you know, just big enough to uh, just get the the, uh, the actual photo itself. Um, I kind of want to eliminate any uh, any of the um, the film the, the top and bottom part of the film strip because uh, it'll bleed light through there and that'll that'll actually affect what uh, what you get in the final product. So as you can see here, I've got uh, my camera set up with the uh, 100 millimeter lens. Uh, Pardon my bending down, but I don't really want to deal with this camera up and down or whatever. Anyway, um, and, and uh, as uh, I've shown before, uh, you know, I've got the box with the, the light underneath flashing or uh, pointing up with uh, the film, uh, you know, right on top of that. Uh, in fact, just give me one second here. I will... Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Got that, got that, and and uh, as I'm going to show you on, on this camera, um, you can see the, uh, the negative is all sort of lined up and essentially pretty much properly exposed, I'll say. Um, give me one second here, let me try something here. Anyway, um, but uh, you know, as as you can see, uh, I've got the uh, the film uh, just ready to take photo of and uh, go from there essentially. As you can see, um, the uh, camera's all set up for uh, taking a photo, and uh, let me get to it then. Maybe I'll play around with the exposure a little bit on my camera, on my 77D here. Um, that might work. Let's try dialing it down a little bit because 
Yeah, it'll look a little darker in that last one, so when I turn it into a positive, it'll turn out a little, hopefully a little bit brighter. But, uh, you know, as, as you can see here, this is the, uh, the setup that I've got, um, you know, with the, uh, the film strip uh, taped into uh, this little bit of uh, cardboard here. And uh, underneath I've got the light uh, pointing up uh, from, uh, from the box that I've got the, uh, the film lying on. on. So, yeah. I will also say that um, during the, the process of uh, scanning the film, I played around with uh, the exposure on, on my camera a little bit just to, just to see kind of what works. Um, because, you know, if you um, dial up the, sh the shutter speed uh, too high, the, the negative will look too bright. And then, you know, when you convert that negative into a positive, it'll be too dark. Uh, and vice versa. I mean, you don't want to, um, when you s scan it in, um, you don't want it too dark. Otherwise, it'll sort of look a little blown out when, uh, when you turn it into a positive. Um, and yeah, so that's, yeah, kind of part of how I go. And uh, I suppose I should also explain uh, how um, I essentially shot the film um, in the uh, in the T70. Um, it does have an exposure meter within built within it, um, and yeah, I haven't. Yeah, I know I should have read the manual to get a better understanding of it. I'll know for next time. But, uh, you know, when I was shooting that, uh, that roll of film, um, I did actually use my 77D, uh, my digital SLR, uh, to essentially help me sort of meter for exposure, uh, you know, with the, the various apertures uh, that I was using. The film itself was, I believe, ISO 400. I, uh, I've got that written down somewhere. I'll, maybe I'll just put it right there just to say whether or not I'm right. Um, and, you know, that's from what I was seeing in the negatives, uh, with the, at least with the shots that I've got, that, that I took, um, I, I think they turned out okay. All right, so I've got uh, all of the photos uh, imported into Lightroom, and uh, yeah, as you can see, it's, uh, it's a negative. What can, you, what can I say? Um, so at this point, you've got to turn into a positive, because, hey, Got to stay positive. Um, so at this point, uh, I, uh, you know, your your first step really is to uh, play around with the uh, with the tone curve. Uh, let me just uh, get back here. Start there, and um, essentially start with flipping it on its head. Um, by doing that, you you get a little closer. As as you can see, there's still a lot of teal uh, and blues and, and whatever in there and that's kind of where you have to sort of keep going uh, just to sort of balance out all those colors uh, to make it much more real realistic as we're as close as you can get unless that's a look you like you know I mean if you if you if you want to go with a full teal look there go for it you got it um, you know, at this point, uh, I'll essentially play around with um, the uh, the red, green, and blue channels, uh, adjusting between, say, red and, and cyan and green and magenta or blue and yellow, um, just to get closer to uh, a look that, as I say, is a little more real. Um, so, uh, in the, uh, the vein of uh, popular um, cooking shows from the past and the present, here's what I did earlier. I created a preset. Uh, there. I called it Film Start just to give me a start. Um, and with this photo in particular, it's uh, a photo of uh, Porta Germain uh, looking um, to the, about the southeast corner. Uh, I've got the Bank of Montreal building here, and the, the Bell MTS building, and uh, a bus there, and, and whatever, and uh, and yeah, um, it's it's start, start, definitely starting to look a little more uh, natural. 
um, which is kind of what uh, what I, I like to do with with film processing. Um, with black and white, it's it's a lot easier to deal with, uh, just because you don't have to play around with colors. You're just basically playing around with black and white and gray and sort of various different contrast levels. Um, I suppose with uh, any ISO film that's you know more than say 200, you'll you'll start, start bleh, you'll certainly start to see some grain, but it's film. Grain's fine, you know. Um, so yeah. <clears throat> I will also say, um, when you're uh, adjusting the uh, exposure, uh, highlights, shadows, whites, blacks, gotta remember, anything you go where you're thinking, okay, well, let's increase the highlights, decrease them instead. You know, uh, if you want to increase the shadows, decrease them instead because you're basically dealing well you are dealing with a negative um, and again you want to turn it into a positive I think positive so I've been playing around with this uh, a bit and uh, one thing I, I, I think I, I will admit defeat on is this lower section here with uh, the essentially the, uh, the the portage and main sign and uh, this area down here where it's you know a bit of a, a garden um, it looks like I, I kind of just underexposed that a little too much and on film when you do that no 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 amount of playing with uh, you know exposure and highlights and shadows and whatever is really going to recover any any sort of usable detail so uh, sometimes you just got to admit defeat Oh ah, well, but I mean, like overall, I'm I'm pretty happy with uh, with the rest of the photo. Um, you know, I, I mean, the uh, the colors look a lot more natural. Sky looks a little iffy, uh, but I, I might play around with that a little bit more, and uh, you know, I'll uh, I'll certainly show you the the final result, at least my final result. Um, so yeah. And uh, as I said earlier, um, with, uh, with this roll of film, um, there were already a few shots taken uh, by a previous owner of the, the, the Canon C T70 camera. Um, this photo in particular, um, I, I can't say exactly where it's from. Um, it, oh, you know what? Looks like it's Yukon. Cool, because uh, it looks like it's a bit of a Winterfest uh, type photo. I've I've been looking through some of the other photos, and again, looks like a you know a Winterfest uh, type of uh, you know uh, scenario, um, including say this this one where it looks like some performers on stage, and uh, the um, colors actually look pretty decent. Um, does look like the photo was underexposed, but you know I mean. You, you, you do what you can do, um, but I mean, like, uh, this is an example of what an, what the one of the negatives look like before, you know, I, I turned it into a positive. Uh, so, yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's interesting to see uh, what other people uh, have taken. Um, so uh, what, uh, actually, I wouldn't mind if, uh, if anyone out there is you know, watching this, this, this video and see some of these photos and recognizes some of those people, let me know, you know, just throw it in the comments.
anyway, on that note, um, I'm going to uh, go raid the fridge. It's uh, I think it's snack time. Uh, so at that point, uh, I'll uh, see you next time and uh, do the usual like, comment, subscribe. Ciao, folks.